Hey, 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 everybody. It is Tea Talk with your girl. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I got a little more commentary on this whole fiasco going on. Okay, so I just came to drop in to just give a few more words on this hell of a mess that we done uh, encountered for the last year. Uh, what is this week, right? But this last week, we have encountered a little bit of mess here and a little bit of mess there. So I want to be able to talk about it really quickly, all right? But before, you know, you get relaxed, like the video, share the video. If you're new to the channel and yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Remember, all things on this channel are strictly alleged and in my very own opinion, they are for entertainment purposes only, okay? Now, y'all, <clears throat> in this video, I simply want to point out that we got us uh, uh, some, they ain't what you call copycats, but it's just like the same type of scenario for each lady and their mama, okay? We got Stormy and Betty, you know, we got uh, Kiki and Constance. And then we got the queen of them all. We got Wanda and Tisha. And I say she's the queen of them all because she started this bullshit uh, on the show with going after Melody, right? Her and her daughter started it all. So they the queens of this, right? They the queens. They the first to ever do it. And that's who um, I'm just going to say that, you know, Wanda's the queen bee. Betty Kruger, she came in in second. She got it. She coming in second. And the only reason why Betty comes in second because Betty's been on the show. See, Kiki's mama didn't make it to the show. She says she didn't want to make it to the show. But now I'm very curious as to why all the communicating with the bloggers. Were you asked to come on the show or were you trying to make a way to get on the show? I'm very curious about that. And it's been bothering me, y'all, because you lied to me and you just been lying across the board. I can go back to remember where there was this whole big argument with you and on end and when Tay Talks jumped in and she asked you why you contact this man. And you said, oh, it was because of X, Y, and Z. But I think you were already talking to him. Now, I ain't no computer, and I ain't got everybody's dates up in my head. But it's seeming like you might have been already talking to him, you know? So, so I, I don't know. I, I'm just trying to figure out what the end game was. What was this supposed to really do? Did y'all want to destroy the show? Uh, uh, did you just want to hurt Mel one more time? Let one more person betray her? Uh, um. I, I don't know. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. But y'all check this. We were quick to come to the aid of Kiki because we had become uh, to take a liking to Kiki. We had began to take a liking to Kiki. And we trusted Kiki because she kept coming on and she kept coming. Oh, me and Mel are good. Oh, me and Mel, yeah, me and Mel are good. Oh, me and Mel rode home on a plane. Then we turn around and hear, it's audio out here somewhere with Kiki talking about the live that she did the day after. Now, I didn't hear it, so this is here saying, I'm, I'm going to put that out there. Um, but there's, there's talk about this video or recording of Kiki saying that she was asked to uh, uh, go clean up the, the the story that Anthony had done because it could possibly hurt the brand of Melody. So that's what I'm being told, right? So therefore, if there's a conversation between the two of you, then that means that Kiki too was talking to Anthony, right? Crazy, y'all. But listen, Wanda went live a while ago. And I captured a couple of her sound bites. Let's listen in. Yeah. Let them know how tripe it out is. 
If that's a lie too, but let's keep going. We're going to tell you the truth. But see, your thing is, you will lie, and y'all will lie and tell more lies and more lies just to get you on top. You want to be on this show so bad, you didn't care who told you step on it to get up. Ain't that crazy, y'all, that I'm telling y'all, let's listen to Wanda's words. Now, Wanda don't always speak the best. And sometimes them words don't mean what she say they do, because y'all know, sometimes it's a struggle over there. But she said it first, y'all. Wanda said it first. Y'all heard it. Rewind it if you want to hear it again. Wanda said it first. Y'all trifling. Y'all going to lie and keep lying because you're trying to get to the top. And that's what we in right now. We in a web of lies right now. That's what we living in. Because you came over here to me and you act like you was coming clean, but you didn't come clean. You still told lies. And, and, and you came over here and you cried on the channel and you, you answered a few questions and, and you know, we still in the bed of lies, though. So Wanda told the truth. Y'all, I can't believe I'm saying it. But anyway, let's keep going. I got a little bit more from Wanda. I get child people calling me and telling me something that Kiki them has said. Now, Kiki, let me say this right here. Your mama said she wonder how she get involved in it. You causing hmm. all this problem with all these all dogs, Miss Connie. You started all this problem with all these blogs and you're not even on the show. Not um, even on the show. And the reason why you don't want to get on it because you know the truth going to come out. Uh, truth is You know and you're going to be too embarrassed to accept it. Mm, too embarrassed. You don't care about your daughter's truth coming out because you don't give a fuck about her. You don't. Ooh. You don't care anything about that person. You don't care about it coming out. And she's stupid enough to believe everything you're saying that she really, really care for you. Let me see. Now, y'all, there's a wonder again with some more truth. Because, baby, I've been thinking all day. And I love my children. And my ass protects mine. Now, you mean to tell me, we talking about some educated folks now, right? Because both of them went to college and got an education. They sound better. They, 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 they can articulate themselves better. But you mean to tell me, Wanda been on this show year after year after year, and even after her ass got fired, she ain't been on the show. She ain't told a goddamn scene yet. Now, she'll come and cuss a hoe out for her daughter. And she'll try to take mail down for her daughter can be at the top. So y'all both got that in common. You both will go after Melody if you think it's going to help your baby get above her. So you got that in common. And don't come back to me and say, I didn't do that to mail. Because here's my damn problem. You see, I sit back and I think and I think and I think. And one of my subs gave me a, a, a super chat today and she said, don't be so quick to react. And she right. She right. See, I was quick to try to come up on my platform. And yes, name that demon who was given the stuff, the, the demon I knew who was giving stuff, and now I call it a demon because now I really do feel that you too was giving Anthony stuff to come and mail. Yep, I do. I'm sorry. 
I done thought this shit through. I done read text messages. I done went back and listened to old lives. Baby, I done went and did my little bit of homework now. And at the end of the day, before I lay my head down tonight, I'm going to let it all out. I believe you was trying to take down mail. I do. I believe that you thought because your daughter had more fan base than Tisha did, she was more likable than Tisha, you thought that y'all could make Mel look bad and then everybody would, 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 would join forces with Kiki. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The only problem was is that you did not count on Melometer. See, what you did was you went to Melometer content creators and you tried to get us to drop dimes that shouldn't have been dropped on mail. And in my opinion, that is why LGB called Queen Sheba the day that the incident took place. Because he wanted Queen Sheba to say, I got a tip. I got some tea. This is what happened. And then Queen Sheba would take the fall for uh, letting the show be revealed and not himself. And then he could come behind her and do his thing. But Queen Sheba, like me, didn't want to ruin the goddamn show. She didn't want to ruin the show. She's a mellow meter. We understand what the show represents to Melody. So wrong row, LGB, wrong row, Constance. You went to the Mellow Meter content creators. You wanted us to out the show. And we didn't do it for you. So you went to Anthony. And then you tried to get him to do it. So when you say you didn't know he was going to use it for malice, I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't believe you. And I really used to like you. I did. I thought you were a legitimate mom who was, and you are a legitimate mom, but I thought you were a mom who was really looking out for your child. You know, with her cousin. I didn't know behind the scenes you really wanted to sock it to mail. And the reason why I say you really wanted to sock it to mail is because you knew. You knew he wasn't any good. You already knew that. Yep. You knew. Because when that shit kicked off with Aunt Anne, that Houston trip hadn't happened yet, I don't think. It hadn't happened yet. So you 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 had got into it online with Wente Talks. She asked you. She told you. We all told y'all that day. Don't get in bed with Anthony. Don't get in bed with Anthony. But you did it anyway. You did it anyway. Anyway, I'm going to let you hear these unheard clips real quick. Mel is a child to me. She's a beautiful young lady. What this young lady has gone through, she has never deserved any of it. I see the things they say about her, and it's horrible and it's hurtful. And for me to be Kiki mom, huh? Her friend mom. For people to think that I would do this intentionally to hurt her or for fame, it's not me. I don't want it. Unfortunately, you got it. This is what you got now. Because this is exactly what it looks like. And so you're going to have to ride this one out. I don't know what's going to happen to Kiki. Not my concern. That's something she got to deal with. That was her job. That was her job. Maybe she just wasn't ready. Maybe Tisha was right. Tisha said she wasn't ready. So maybe they should have listened to Tisha. Because look what happened. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. And I don't believe that she wasn't, I don't believe she was in this by herself. 
I believe her and Stormy was in it. I believe that that's what they built their relationship on. I don't believe that these two people all of a sudden who Stormy's claimed she couldn't stand this girl now, all of a sudden she can stand her. They great friends. She's her ally. Then she get she somehow miraculously doesn't go on the internet, doesn't do interviews with anybody, but yet the night Kiki does her interview over there with AL, not only does Stormy come and do an interview alongside Kiki, but she gives Kiki, I mean, she gives LGB $200. Yeah. We all was like, why would she give him a $200 super chat? Well, now we know, because you're not a millionaire. So to be just throwing around your money like that, we was like, why would she do that? Yeah. Well, now we think we know why. Hmm? One more clip, y'all. One more clip for the one more clip. Let me let me let me start right here for a second. This clip she is describing how she got on the phone with him before the phone call. And I didn't play it yesterday. So I'm gonna play it for y'all now. So you see, this is probably why he was crying. Because you said, Dan, said these people really mistreated her. She felt beat up and she was there outside by herself. Why in the hell was she outside? She had a hotel room. Why was she outside? She had a driver take her over there to wherever she was at. Or well, I'm sure she had some type of transportation to get there. Why was she outside by herself? And why was she crying? She know what she had done. She knew what she had done just not too long before this incident. She knew they didn't want to be around her. Why was she crying? It just don't make sense to me. That this whole thing was so blown out of proportion. Even I told you that day. I told you that day. I said, do not blow this thing up. Because Mel is the EP of this show. And she has to make calls sometimes. And unfortunately, sorry, she's the one that has to deliver news sometimes. But that's just the way it is. Point blank in the period. And if you don't like it, this ain't the show for you. You know that the cousins don't like it. That's why they so mad. They know where some of the, 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 the stuff is coming, the directions is coming from. It's coming from mail. And they don't like it. But oh well, get another show to get on if you don't like it. But at the end of the day, you was wrong, Constance. Kiki was wrong, too, for feeding you, continuous to feed you information, knowing that you was running it to bloggers. Because I didn't check my text messages. And there's a, t a couple times in there where you say, I have to ask Kiki first. And I never picked up on that until now. 
that I'm going back reading stuff. So if you had to ask Kiki first, then Kiki knew, unfortunately. Kiki knew too. So you, Wanda, Betty, y'all all the same. Number one, you meddle too much in your children's business because they're grown-ass women. they grown-ass women. And the three of y'all still playing helicopter moms. And I heard somebody today say some shit like, uh, y'all overcompensating for being teen moms and shit. I don't know because I can't relate. I was a teen mom too, y'all. And I ain't never done no shit like this with mine. And I have five children. And they will all tell you, oh, my mama will go to war for us, but not against their own friends and their peers. Oh, no, ma'am, I won't do that. Now, if they need me, I'm going to be there, but I'm just saying. I'm not going to come out and go at no damn children because those are children to me. So I'm not going to come out and go at their friends. I'm trying to destroy their friends. Try to make sure they get over top of their friends. No. Y'all is some jealous hearted people. And y'all gonna have to fix that shit because y'all gonna continue to get in the way of your children. Point blank in the goddamn period. Y'all are going to continue to get in the way of your children. Tisha. Kiki and Stormy don't have no win as long as they got these meddling ass mamas. All right. Y'all look, that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and share this little, little text stream because, and the reason why I'm sharing this is because yesterday when me and her talk, she promised me she was going to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Um, and I did get permission. You'll see in the text to share this, but it's, I was supposed to share it doing a live yesterday and I forgot. But you were supposed to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And you really just lied, Miss Constance. You lied. And you and Kiki still lying. And when y'all going to tell the truth? When y'all going to tell the people the truth? That's what I would like to know. When y'all going to tell the people the truth? Hmm? The truth will set you free. Listen, y'all, that's all I got for this video. Like the video, share the video. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the T-Talk family. Also, guys, I do just want to say that there was an interview done tonight by Chef Don Don for Mel with Melody's makeup artist, Jay. Jay um, will be dropping his candle soon, um, and it's called the 19... 67 Never Forgotten Collection, I believe. I believe it's Never Forgotten, if I'm not certain. I don't have my notes right here. But at any rate, he, it's a 1967 candle. And I can remember that because that's the year my mom and daddy created me. Right? Um, so I'm going to put his link in the description box so that the, it's there for you if you need to get it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Uh, using that link and be ready on December 31st to support him with the sale of the candle for his brother. All right. He is going to have a percentage off and the, that is the code for the percentage off 1967. Okay. So that's also the code. So please support him with this candle and uh, my very own mod, Taisha J. She has uh, sowed a seed into his candles. And baby, she said those candles are legit. And she cannot wait for the portal to open. So y'all be ready because y'all know me. I'm a support. I'll be right there too on December 31st uh, buying some candles from Jay, the makeup artist. And that is Mel's makeup artist, Jay. Okay. And I'm, again, I'm going to put that link in the description box so that you can easily find the candles. All right. Listen, y'all have a great day. I'm also going to put the link in my chat for Wanda's video where I got the sound bites at just in case you want to go listen because there's a lot more that she said over there about Kiki and her mama. And a lot of it was right, unfortunately, y'all. That's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. 
Mm -mm -mm. I'm out, y'all. Tea talk with your girl.